Okay, man. And during the strong season, you've played all but eight minutes of the uh, the Viva Premiership games so far. So you must yeah. be pleased with how it's going today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you always want to play. I always want to play. It doesn't matter what the competition is, and and to be a big part of the obviously the outside is is huge for me. Do you feel that it's been sort of a breakthrough season for yourself? Do you feel that it's been sort of personal development, or is it more just sort of how the, the team's going as a whole? Uh, you can't go away the fact that obviously the team's playing well, and as a obviously group sport, it helps. It's not tennis, you know. What I mean, you don't just rely on yourself. You need the team to do well for you to do well. I've been doing my bits, you know what I mean, doing my personal training, my stuff and trying to push myself as hard as I can. Uh, and you combine that with obviously a group effort and everyone doing the same, everyone buying into it. And I think that's was what helped me to, to be where I am now at the minute and, and to be playing the way that I'm playing. Uh, you've helped yourself to five tries so far this season. Yeah. Any of them a particular favourite or do you like them all? No, nah, I, I always enjoy scoring. Uh, everyone does, I think. I don't really keep track of it, but I think I enjoy the most when that helps us get a result. Uh, there's nothing more frustrating than scoring a try and then losing the game. You feel like it was it was yeah. worthless, you know what I mean? Uh, but it's always good to, to score and obviously that makes me happy and, and, and help the team as well. Northampton are next up uh, and you're yeah. part of the team that took the, the memorable win down there yeah. in November. So yeah. What was that built on? So what allowed you to achieve that result? I think it's just uh, doing what we said we were going to do. You know what I mean? Uh, we analysed the teams, we, we tried to put a tactic together or our game plan together and, and it's about executing it to the T. Uh, we believe in what we can do, we just need to go out there and do it. It's all about our performance. Uh, that's why it's frustrating when you lose and you don't perform because obviously you left things out there. We just need to make sure we perform, we do the things that we can do, do them well and that will give us the, the best opportunity to win. Um, and has that win and the one here last year, yeah. has that been spoken about this week and if so, in what context? It's just in the fact that looking at the things that we did to, to get those results. Not, nothing more than that. We don't want to say, oh, uh, get overexcited about it. We did it because obviously we played well. That's why we got the we got the win. So we want to make sure that we, we do the things right, we analyse and, and we do the things that we, that we practice on the weekend and that will get us the result. Um, off the field, you've been making inroads in your, your own little ambition to being a, a professional chef. So tell me what you've been doing in developing that this year. Well, trying to obviously, yeah. Uh, I train myself, if you want to say it that way, trying to uh, gather some obviously experience there. Uh, having well, I went down to Gaucho in Leeds with uh, through the RPA and did a bit of cooking with uh, a few chefs that um, Bobby Vickers put me in touch with, uh, Anthony Brown and Neil Anthony. Um, so I did a bit of experience with them and trying to obviously do as much as I can at home. You know what I mean to to keep myself going. Uh, It'd be great to, to get some professional training, but obviously it's hard to, to fit it in with rugby. So it's good to have the RPA there uh, for us to, to help us uh, do that bit off the, off the field. I know you've been doing stuff in the kitchens here. So what was that like as a different experience going oh, to a restaurant like that? Oh, that was it's massive. It's not something that uh, uh, anyone can do. You know what I mean? To have the experience or, or the opportunity to go into a huge kitchen like the one of the club that looks after players' meals, uh, functions, weddings, and things like that. Uh, it's just like a, even a better opportunity if you want to if you want to say because it's a it's a different completely different experience to to the normal rex, le, restaurant experience. And okay. um, what's the ultimate goal with that? I mean, Newcastle could do with a very good Argentine steak. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't know. It's about hopefully. Uh, I'm not quite there. Yeah, I got a lot of rugby to play, a lot of rugby in me. But uh, maybe I'd love to open my own place. You know, I mean, something not too big, small like. With nice food, like seasonal, you know what I mean. Using what's out there during the seasons, and uh, obviously meat is a big part from from my heritage, my culture, and something that I could bring into. Like you said, there's a lot of opportunity there in the sea, but we'll, we'll wait and see.